Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you how to make Chanel faux perfume bottles. They're super cute. They're not that hard to make, but we will do a tutorial and I will show you how to make your very own. Okay, so how we're gonna start with, uh, you need to pick your picture frames. So I bought these picture frames. They're cute little picture frames. I bought them at the Dollar Tree. And when you're looking for picture frames, just make sure that the back is not right to the back and when you glue them together see that little space so you'll know that space when you so you have room for your diamonds because some of the backings will be right to the back and there's no room to stick anything in so just make sure you can see the room that you have in there so what we'll do is we'll open these up i'm just gonna do um kind of show you go through i'm not gonna actually do it because there's a lot of drying time in between so and and putting the labels on but what we'll do is we'll take these out and i'll show you what i mean and they're super easy and they're so cute i was more excited when i had mine done that i was just like static when i got mine done so i was just super happy so what you need to do is you need to open the back of the picture frames you won't even need the back of them when you take them out So these you won't need. Pull these out. Won't need those. You take the little picture that's on there. Also too, when you're looking for the frames, make sure the letter's not etched on the glass because if you try to take the etching off, obviously you're gonna cut the, the glass. So make sure that the paper comes out. So we'll take those out. What I did, once I did that, I did clean them because sometimes there's a little mark on there. So I do Windex the, the inside and the outside as I do them. Um, so next thing you have to do is you have to add your sparkles, whatever you want in them. Uh, what I got these ones were the vase filler. They're actually from Dollar Tree for $1.25. And you just open the, oh, sorry, almost skipped a step. What you have to do is take the glass out and what I would do and works really well is just put a little bit of glue all the way around here and stick the glass back in. Don't make sure you don't put too much glue because if you put too much glue it's going to leak out on the front part of the frame and it won't look so good. So what you need to do once you put the glue in you glue these back on and give it some time. I'd say half an hour until the glue is dry and then you could put in your so I'm not gonna do this right up to the thing I will just show you so these ones I got a couple pack I think in the other one that I did I put nine packs in there believe it or not so you can do that the other one I also did was uh, pearls and these little faux pearls, you can also buy them Dollar Tree, $1.25. I only put three in here because they were sold out and they didn't have any packets left. So I'm gonna have to wait to seal this one up. But you can put them in there, you can kind of mix them up in there. There's really whatever you want to do. There's actually these ones. I got, these ones were from Dollarama, they were $1.50. I think I'm gonna put a pack in them in there today too, because I didn't do them in the other one. But this gives it a little different look. So what I'm going to suggest is when you're doing these, you do have to pile it high enough. So see, I'll just show you what I mean. So there it's not full yet, right? So you, you have to pile them up. So when you do them, you make sure that they're piled up high enough, even if they're like a little hill as long as you can fit this backing on it and this glass is gonna move now that's okay then you have to seal it before you flip it over when you seal it just put a little bit of glue all the way around once again maybe put a little heavy book on it to make sure that it's sealed down properly so once you get all your see see when you only fill it up not as much so you have to make it sure it's high enough when you fill it so once that's sealed, I'm just gonna put an elastic over it. So the next thing, well, let's say that letting that dry, we can make the top. So I actually bought this box from Dollarama. It was 350, it's just wooden blocks. What we're gonna do with the wooden blocks is we're gonna make the top for it. So we're gonna glue two of these together 
then we're gonna glue those two tops together and you're gonna let those dry. As you can see, as I've done in this one, all the way around. So once those are dry, I actually put some Mod Podge glue. You can get some at the Dollar Tree. I believe Dollarama has it. I bought this bigger one from Walmart. Brush it all over and I actually used uh, some sparkles, some fine glitter sparkles. So I painted it with the Mod Podge glue and I sparkled all this over, let it dry. And then I actually had uh, spray paint uh, sealer from Michaels that so when after you touch it and that you don't get all these little sparkles all over you and I sealed it so we'll go back to this while that's sitting there so for this part what I did was I actually bought at Dollarama they are a dollar 25 and they come in little rolls like this and I actually put them all the way around so what I did was I glued them use Mod Podge again you can use whatever glue you have as long as it dries clear. So I did kind of like that. I didn't put any on the bottom, as you can see on mine, so it sits sturdy enough. But I just glued it, and it actually fits perfect with these little frames from Dollar Tree. So there's not much cutting to do here. Do a second row. I did, however, do uh, cut them half down, and I did the little trim on the outside of the front of the frame. I did the top once this was set in the glitter and sealed I did do just a little border around here with the with the little ribbon metal ribbon rhinestone ribbon once that was done there was not much to do you put your top on which is all done that's done now the next thing I was gonna do I don't have a Cricut so I couldn't print anything on uh, obviously I didn't I, I was trying to think of different ways to make a logo I can't draw really well so I actually did two different versions so on this one as you can see the Chanel was just uh, basically uh, stock paper which was a dollar 25 once again Dollarama that had a bunch of different colors so I used the stock paper and I just cut them. I cut that one and then at the Dollar Tree I actually had these letters that were already done so I didn't have to do one by one. And I just put the word Chanel. I used little black stickers and I just put two C's backwards. I put some Mod Podge on it and I put some uh, black glitter on it. And this was also from the little stock paper package I got as well. So it was super easy. So I did that one for this one. And I will show you another one I did. So once I get this this one done, I did uh, this by hand and it was super easy. So I can't draw like I told you already. So what I did was my printer was out of ink and I was at loss. So I actually took my cell phone, just opened up a CC, uh, a Chanel logo, on my phone and I actually put the paper over it and with the with the computer paper you can still see through it so all I did was just draw around the lines I end up drawing it I end up cutting it out before I cut it out though I put it on a little bit of a thicker paper actually I think I used actually the backing from one of the picture frames and I made it a little bit thicker so it is kind of thicker than just a plain paper then when I cut it out, I actually did Mod Podge again. I brushed all over it and I actually used um, some more sparkles in the package I got. And then I sprayed it to seal it. I actually cut it out when it was nice and dry because it was very firm. And I just cut these accordingly, two or three at a time. And I actually just went around over the Mod Podge, as you can see in the picture, and I just glued them all the way around and it actually looks super cute. So that one will go on this one once I get some more uh, vase filler little diamonds once they're back in stock and I will finish this one and this one's actually a gift for my daughter. So this one will go for her once it's done. And that's how you make your little faux Chanel bottle. Ooh, looks so good. I just love it. I can't wait to 
Can't wait to put it somewhere. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it in the bathroom yet or if I'm going to put it with my jewelry on my, de de uh, my dresser in my bedroom. But uh, if you have any questions, please comment below. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you in a couple days with a new craft. Have a good day, everybody. Bye.